Welcome back to another episode on the Cobra Daytona build. I've got to apologize. I have done a whole bunch of work here. I have not videotaped it. I just kind of got overwhelmed. Um, been out in the garage, just kind of getting along. Some stuff done. So let me show you what I've done and I'll show you what I've got planned for today. So I've done a lot. Um, I got pretty much the rest of the interior aluminum panels all drilled, Clicoed, ready to go as you can see. Um, I've got the dash kind of moving along. I actually had that all assembled too. Uh, the gauges, but I pulled those all back out trying to figure out what I'm going to do with those. I uh, started putting sound insulation on around the foot boxes. That's probably about the only place, some of that heat control stuff. And I'm finalizing the wiring mess in here, and that's what I'm going to show you today. So in order to get this motor in, I need to finish getting... So you can see here I've got some of the uh, heat control on the outside. That's just a really thin layer of fiberglass adhesive. Uh, it helps pretty good. Um, but I've got the battery in. So as you can see here, it's an Odyssey PC925. A small little battery. Got to move forward. Uh, I've done that because I want to get the motor dropped in. And so I need to get the battery in and the cables run. So as you can see, I started running the cables here. Here's where I'm going to go kind of a little crazy. So instead of, uh, right now they've got the chassis wiring harness comes through the firewall, down to the alternator, back up, and then finally ties in where it goes to the battery. I'm going to run a cable from the alternator directly to the positive post on the battery. Uh, should be about a two and a half foot run of probably number four wire. Uh, that should be plenty for 150 amp alternator, which the uh, Boss 2 alternator is. Then from there, I'm going to run a wire from the battery to the starter, that'll be number two wire, two AWG. Um, and then from there, I'll actually tap off that. That'll come up to our mega fuse up under here. Uh, that'll probably be four AWG. And then from the other side of the fuse, it'll go into the uh, Coyote control uh, power distribution unit. And then inside to our switch, which I'll show you over here. I put our battery disconnect switch right here, as you can see. Um, but this is not going to actually disconnect from the starter. So this is basically just going to disconnect from all the power inside the car. Um, I like the starter battery, the cable going directly to the starter. That's your highest amp draw thing in the car by far. I mean, a good starter can draw a couple hundred amps um, at full tilt than when you're really trying to fire it up. So that's going to go directly to the starter. Starter will go directly to ground. That should give me a circuit there that I will not just interrupt. Basically, you don't really want a starter battery going through one of those disconnects anyhow. Most of those disconnects are only rated for, you know, 150, 250 amps. Um, if you really get a cold motor, you could be pushing that. So that's kind of why I'm going to do that, uh, as you said. So what I'll do is I'll go through this. I'm going to fab up the ground cable here. I ordered a new crimper for these things. I've been soldering all these, and I'm going to start crimping them. This one's going to go from the ground to the chassis here, and then probably from the chassis, I'll run it back over and tie into the engine. And uh, that should give me good two good points of ground, one to the engine, two to the chassis, and then I can kind of tie everything else from there. And then you've also got this ground wire for the Coyote, which will tie into this ground, which goes directly to the ground on the battery. So I'm kind of thinking that's the way I'm going to do this. Uh, that way the alternator is just one quick little run, big size cable, no issues. I don't like the way, you know, the Ron Francis setup does it. So follow along. Uh, that was a long little bit there, but at least you kind of got to see where I've been lately. As I said, uh, there's a bunch of videos I still need to edit and get up, but I'm doing the best I can. So uh, I'm doing a full-time job in the build and videotaping and editing all this. It's uh, getting tired. So still waiting on wheels. I think my power steering rack shipped last week from Factory 5. So hopefully have that soon. And then we can have this thing basically ready to be a roller other than wheels. So thanks again, and I uh, hope you enjoy this episode. Okay, so I got my battery cable here. This is gonna go into here like this, and then I'm gonna come straight down. I think that should look pretty clean. Hopefully everybody can see this. Right into there. So I'm gonna mark that. It should be a really clean look. And I said, then this rest of the cable will kind of wrap around, and I will uh, put this in black. I like to keep everything red. This will actually get all wrapped in red too. Uh, just that way you know it's a positive cable. Uh, just kind of one of the electrical things I like to do. Not always necessary, but just safe. So I'm going to mark this. We'll snip this off here. As I said, one lug will go in here. We'll make sure we clean the paint off there. And then I'll have enough cable here to go up and around and uh, tie into the ground here. Um, and then the starter will tie into there. The engine will ground into there. 
power uh, from the coyote ground into there. And this thing should be pretty good. So let's uh, mark this and we can get a cut. Okay, so the next thing is people always wonder how you cut battery cable. They make special cutters for it. I got a set of these uh, Craftsman Handy Cuts. They actually do a really, really good job. You kind of work it around. And as you can see, they snip right through it, no issues. So easy way to do it. So now this one here, this one is going to tie into here and wrap on around and then tie up into here also. So that way I've got ground there, ground there, everything ties into here. Alternator comes here to here and it should be a very clean, simple look instead of having all these wires go to solenoids and all that kind of crap. So if anybody sees anything wrong with my ideas or thinking, let me know. So I've got the ground uh, cable made up here. So we're gonna put this in like this. Hopefully you can see this. As I said, and then I'm gonna drill that hole out right there. Um, actually, I'm gonna move it a little bit over because I'm not gonna be able to get in there very well with that tube. So we're gonna kick this over just a little bit just so I can get access to the hole. Or I guess I could also, yeah, I'm gonna do it that way. I think that looks good. Should be able to do it just right there, and then we'll drill that out. So let me, uh, I don't have a center punch anymore. Mine broke. So let's mark it with this. And then we'll just get it in the center here. Okay, now we'll get my 90 degree drill. We'll drill a hole. Make sure I can still get that on. Yep, okay. Just enough slack in there. Okay. <sighs> okay, so I got the alternator wire um, come down into here, crossed, and this will all get covered with that convoluted tubing wrapped in red. The alternator, I think, is gonna sit right about here. So this may just turn up and plug in kind of like this. Um, but until I get the engine in, I'm really not positive. So in the meantime, we'll just swing that thing out of the way. I'll probably have to pull this cable back out so I can, uh, Take care of that. And this one will come up into here, like this, next to that one. Um, it goes back there to the starter, as you can see, and then we'll pick up another one, that to back into there. So right now I'm thinking, I look pretty darn good, uh, as far as the main wiring harness goes in here, until I get the engine in. Cause uh, I may have to shorten the one main to the starter wire, I don't know yet, until I kind of figure out where that starter sets. I know it's in that general area, but I want to make sure it's spot on. So I said, so at least now I've got the main wiring done. I can drop the engine in and go from there. So we're getting there. So I guess we'll call that an episode. Uh, how I'm running power from battery, where the battery's going, things like that. So thanks again for watching. Hit subscribe and uh, we'll see you on the next episode. Thank you.